Well, it's been mostly smooth sailing, Lauren. We are here at St. Paul the Apostle Catholic Church, and we've seen a steady stream coming in. Of course, it is varied throughout the day. A bit of a surge in the morning, more people at lunchtime, then a little bit of a slowdown now that people are finishing work. They're coming in to exercise their right to vote. We feel proud, man, because I have to exercise my right. We're in the election home stretch in Broward. Some polling places like this one in Miramar saw a surge in voting early Tuesday. But in other spots like this plantation polling site, there was no wait. I was very pleasantly surprised. There were zero lines, and, and it was probably the fastest voting I've ever had. In addition to the presidential race, Broward voters are picking a new state attorney, deciding whether to keep the same sheriff, Gregory Tony, or opt for a newcomer. So I just wanted to make sure that I knew that my ballot was going in that box. With over 826,000 Broward voters already casting votes before today, either in early voting or a mail-in ballot, it has been a smooth process. About the only issue has been people showing up at prior early voting locations, believing it was their precinct. If you can't vote here, you have to go to an elementary school on the other side of your district. Other than that, we've heard of very few errors, and the supervisor told me yesterday that he expected about 100,000 people would be voting today, Election Day, and it appears we are on track for that number, with Broward probably going to finish out around the million mark before it's all over. Reporting in Lighthouse Point, Joan Murray, CBS 4 News.